So this house here, I did a, I did a story on this house, the painted house next to the mission that was problematic for the downtown core. Well, as you see, it's burnt down. So it's burnt down. Uh, a lot of police activity here. They've closed the downtown mission because the downtown mission is right here. So we got a lot of displaced people from uh, from the downtown mission. A lot. And a lot of police activity and fire activity here. Brutal. Just brutal. The reason they never tore this place down it was designated heritage. But it was empty. There was no utilities on. I can guarantee you on that one. There was no gas. This is 100% arson. I'm not a fire investigator, but if it's not global warming, I can tell you that right now. A lot of police. They got all the roads blocked off. It's still going, that fire. It's smoking. But the whole top of that building, there was another floor on top of that. It's gone. Yeah, 100%, Jason. I, uh, I'm not a fire investigator, but that was, this is 100% arson. So it was an eyesore, and Reno Augustino had a lot of money uh, generated to paint this place, and uh, paint's not going to help it now. We'll be bulldozed very soon. But this place has been pl problematic for the downtown core. That's why he painted it. They put a fence around it because there were squatters. There was uh, a lot of open air drug use. And all kinds of crazy stuff that went on here. But you can see all the people displaced here. Police are shining a light on me. Is that is that Morris code for get back behind the line because I crossed the the line? But other people are doing it, so I'm out of harm's way. Brutal. See what I could do for people down here tonight. Wonder what the city's gonna do. Uh, there's a lot of displaced people here. <laughs> this guy just sits on the police car. <laughs> Does the city have a plan for the people? You're not too sure yet? Hopefully soon. A lot of people want to know. It 
So policeman says, maybe the, maybe we don't know. I, I don't have you on camera, bro. Were you staying here at the mission? So they cleared everybody out, obviously, right? Oh, you're in the shower? You don't even have shoes on, bro. Are you cold? What size feet? Nine? Fuck, I got a, I got a nice pair of shoes that are at home. You gonna be out here for a minute, eh? Size 10s work. The, see these shoes here? K-Swiss. Yeah, I got a pair. A pair of them are Nike Air Force black. Just like it, yeah. Had a few pairs. Hey, Ross, do me a favor. Go grab my shoes. So somebody just gave this guy a jacket. Perfect. Ross, go grab my shoes from Shelly. Call her and uh, there's a pair of shoes I got uh, Nike Air Force size 10 hook this fell up they're at my front door you ain't getting through the mission downtown the, the building next door to the mission caught on fire ross go to my house since you're watching now that's a loud bike that's a loud bike go to my house ross since you're watching there's a pair of uh, size 10 shelly knows which shoes give her a call tell her you're coming grab the shoes come down here go right down olette Okay, call Shelly and come. Let's hit this guy's pair of shoes. He's barefoot on the, on the damn concrete. And that ain't cool. Hey, is anybody called here? Anybody called? Do you guys need any clothes or anything? I'm going to get this guy a pair of shoes. Hey? Your wrist? What, you, what, you need a Rolex to warm up your wrist? Okay, bring this guy a Rolex. He needs a Rolex. Uh, Ross, go to my house uh, or go to my other house to get my Rolex and bring it down here. This guy needs, <laughs> needs his wrist warmed up. called the Folex. Oh, you want the real shit? Ah, come on, man. Yeah, Justin, don't tell anybody. Hook this guy up, give him a pair of my uh, Nike Air Force. I got these. K Swiss. Best shoe they ever made. The British. You wait right there for a sec, okay?
wait for my brother to get my uh, extra pair of shoes for that lad. Brutal. Did you did you did you want in the truck, son? Uh, well, I mean, if you're going to be longer, then yeah. Uncle Ross, there's a guy barefoot here. He's gonna go give him my shoes. Yeah. Grab an extra pair of shoes at my house. So I. Uh, where's my schmogs? Well, you can put the keys in it and listen to the radio. What do I put it on? Huh? Just run that? Yeah, turn it. Turn it right off. Wait, you're starting it. <laughs> there you go. Where's my lighter? little bit of action down here you see lots of people I'm not gonna get up in people's grills lots of people ejected from the uh, the mission the garbage is there. What's going on? You all right? Oh yeah, always, man. You living around? You living around here? Yeah, I'm a I'm a janitor here, but uh, yeah. My son was working here at the mission. He was uh, co-oping to get his last credit for school. He needed a co-op credit, right? So they took him in at the mission. They hired him full time. He just didn't want to come back, right? Mm -hmm. But he's like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm not putting you on camera. Do you want to special, be on camera? It's a special like. You want to be on camera here? Okay, there you go. You're on. Yeah, crazy night tonight, eh? It is, it is. Were, were you here when the fire started? No, I was not, but uh, everything's under under wraps. It should be about another 10, 15 minutes, and we're all able to... He's pointless. Right here. The guy's got no shoes on. Did you? Could you guys hear that call? And the, the, the crazy thing is, is that the, the guy said he was cold and somebody uh, gave him the jacket right off their uh, off their back. And the guy's got no shoes on. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> so they were evacuated right out of here, right away. That's that could have been very dangerous because from what I've seen, the uh, top of that building was in golf. Well, it's not there anymore. It burnt. It burnt right down to nothing. You out here? No, no, fucking. He's, he's alright. No, no, I didn't put him in the camera. Uh, he's alright, fella, but I don't know. He probably swaps him, right? No, I didn't put anybody on camera down here unless they want to be on camera. Especially Nikes. Unless you're the police, I'll put you on camera if you're the cops. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. <laughs>
Well, yeah. So they got the uh, program here for uh, uh, rehab, eh? Uh, Phoenix. The Phoenix program, correct. It's it's helpful, man, trust me. Oh, I believe it. But you got to be dedicated. Well, the whole thing about drug addiction is, and quitting, okay, uh, is uh, having the first step in that, the will to change, right? Yep. Uh, one of my brothers, that are, do you know Ross? You know Ross. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, there you go, Ross. He spent uh, 30 years in prison for bank robbery, okay, for his addictions and uh, feeding the feeding the devil and uh his story right is remarkable to where he is today clean and sober for the last uh 20 years 20 something years and uh to, not just him i got two other brothers that should have died all three of them yeah. should have died and they died okay and they just keep bringing them back right and they've all been clean now uh shit multiple years carl's coming to town uh this week he's been he's got over 30 years clean and sober stands on that path he's got to you know, Stan. Excellent, man. You know, Stan, eh? No. no. Stan's the best. I love all my brothers, but Stan, uh, yeah, yeah, he's 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 coming up on 10 years clean. Ross got 20 years clean. Oh, you're right here. Oh, you got, oh, you brought him shoes? Okay. No, those are work. Adidas? Those are nice. Size 10? They'll fit them well. Yeah. Has he got socks? Yeah, he's got socks on. He's got socks? Give me the socks. Somebody else. No? no? Give me the socks. He's got a coat on? Give me the socks, you cheap fuck. Does he got a coat on? He's got a coat on, yeah. Okay. Give him a, give him a fresh pair of socks, too. There you go, bro. The, they're not my... Uh, Air Force, my brother, he just brought a pair of their size 10. Need a pair of socks? Sure. Sure. There you go, my man. So this is what I'm doing at 1.30 in the morning after work. Fucking people up. I wish I could do more. I wish I won $50 million so I could take you guys to a nice fucking place. <laughs> Up north with fishing rods. Oh, well, 50 million would be dangerous. Can I put you in the camera? Can I put you on the camera? There you go. Okay. Get, these. Those are some nice kicks, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Hey, now you got a better pair of socks, too. Yeah. Big upgrade from barefoot, eh? Right on, my friend. Now, if I won $50 million, people, I don't do drugs. I seldom even drink anymore at my age. I, it would be dangerous because I would do the right thing with the money. And I would fucking wipe out homelessness in this town in a fucking New York second. You guys know I would. I'm the guy who gave away a million dollars worth of marijuana to feed the fucking hungry in this town. And I'm under charges right now. And I may be looking at eight months incarceration or house arrest. It's still before the courts. I don't know. And at this point, I really don't give a fuck. And I'd do it all over again. In a heartbeat, in a New York second, and every every cop in town knows me, and they know when it comes down to the, the, the me and in, in the homeless, I got a big heart. Hi, Grandma. You're watching. What's your name? Ron? Yeah, Ron? Ron. Grandma. This is Ron. That's her hus her ex husband's name. He passed not ex. Always be always be Ron. <laughs> so Ron, Ron got Ross's shoes. Yeah. Guy was barefoot outside. I went, no. I was ready to give him mine, but then I would have been barefoot for a second. Yeah. But he's hooked up. They fit all right? Yeah, they fit great. Great right on. Perfect. Adidas. Fuck those are better than mine. <laughs> Are they good? Yeah. Gotta have good kicks, Ron. 
especially you're walking a lot, right? So, yeah. yeah. Hard on the feet. I can just imagine. So it's still fucked smoking. You guys ain't going into the, uh, going back into that smoke's gone. Speaking of smokes, here, Ron. Ron, do you smoke? There you go. So we got Enbridge. Like I said, the utilities haven't been turned on in this place in a, in, in years. Well, at least you got something cold to drink. Yeah, the girl just gave me that. Right on, man. How long you been here, Ron? Three months. Are you from Windsor? No, I'm from Bell River. Bell River? I came out here because a drug dealer tried to uh, do me in. Dude. So I uh, stabbed him with a spear. Oh, did you? Are, are you on charges now or? No? No. I did a year and a half. I like guilty at the end of it. Yeah, I, I spent a couple of years inside uh, myself. Uh, all for weed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for weed. <laughs> Wild. Yeah, it is. Now they've legalized. <laughs> it's still legalized, and I'm still getting charged. Yeah, how does that make any sense? Oh, yeah, they're pouring a lot more water up on this bitch now. Can you yeah. see it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Ross here, I'll show you the shoes. That building went up like a candlestick, guys. Like I said, no utilities been on the roof. It's been dry. Yeah, that paint, that painted building on the corner. People used to come into the city of Windsor and the first thing they would see is that building. And they go, what the hell? Reno Augustino, the councilman for the downtown area, he uh, got an artist, got donations, and he put in himself, uh, and they painted up this building and it looked after the paint job a thousand times better than it did before because it was an eyesore. Okay, I'll show you the shoes. Here's, here's Ron's shoes. There's the shoes you gave him, Ross. And he likes them. <laughs> he says a lot. So I know where to find Ron. Maybe I'll take Ron for a coffee.
Maybe I'll get get Ron on the uh, the edibles. You're on the edibles. You like the edibles, the marijuana edibles. A lot of people say that uh, it helps with addiction. See, help kicking it. Not a lot of people. A friend of mine uh, on the West Coast has got a a thing going on with the edibles, giving them out to uh, the addicted. I should have worn my glasses. So the guy whose shoes you're wearing right now, Ron, robbed uh, seven banks in Vancouver in a matter of 20 minutes. Ended up doing 25 years, okay, in BC. I'm gonna share it here. Full blown heroin addict at the time. Hasn't touched drugs in 20 years. Yeah. No, not the edibles. He just needed a change in life, right? It was either that or death, right? That was the next thing. And now you're in his shoes, buddy. You're in his special shoes. 25 years, 26 years. Sorry, 26 years in, in prison. Imagine that trip. How old are you, Ron? You're 60? I'm 54. Fuck, you look good, man. You look better than I do. <laughs> the good thing about uh, recovery is there's no age limit, eh? I I've seen guys, I seen guys in recovery 70 years old and their re biggest regret was not paying attention to their families, right? So you, you could change. Are you part of the Phoenix? Uh, no. Who's running that? T-Bear? He is, yeah. So T-Bear is running the Phoenix program here. Pardon? Yeah, from Bell River. Yeah, he just passed away not long ago. Eh? Yeah. yeah, Tommy. T the Hell's Angel Tommy T-Bear? Yeah. Yeah, he passed away, uh, fuck, six months ago. Hey? Oh. Yeah. I... Oh, yeah, it's coming apart. The water pressure is tearing this building apart. probably going to collapse. Oh yeah, the walls are coming out. They're filling her with water. Yep, it came apart. Another insurance scam, Steve, uh, day? Probably not because it's right next to the mission. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming apart. All that water pressure is just blowing out the walls. Mark Funnel. Steve Day. Yeah, homeless people squatted there for sure.
there's a lot of open air drug activity here on this block. Hey, Duke, that's funny, Duke. How's it going to affect the area now? Well, for sure, this building will be knocked down uh, ASAP just due to the uh, location being so close to the mission and uh, squatters and this and that, right? It's, it's a danger zone now. What are they going to put there now? Probably an apartment building. And I did a, a video last year on this place, actually, after they painted it. And I was talking to the uh, displaced, some of the displaced people that are around this place, right? Uh, and talked about uh, the issues, right? That's a lot of water. Hey, what's happening, here, bro? Hey, Eric, what's going on, bro? Dude, that's unreal, eh? Hey, what's happening, guys? Dude, that sucks. Hey, can I put you on camera? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I like that hat, by the way. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow they play again, right? Yeah, yeah. In Toronto. Here we go, baby. Hell yeah. Hopefully they, they so what? Have you guys? Did you guys catch this so, uh, from the beginning, or? Yeah, I seen the fire. And it went up like a candle, like a candlestick, right? I'm like, that's what I heard. I, I was coming down the street on my bike, and I was like, holy shit! Brutal, eh? Yeah, bro. Unbelievable. It sucks. Brutal. This was like a fucking history. Fucking yeah. Epic. You know what's funny about it is, uh, my dad, <laughs> uh, back in the day, this place was a whorehouse. Really, eh? Really. And illegal gambling, and uh, you could buy uh, illegal booze, bootleg <laughs> booze after hours card games and everything that went on in this place wow, man that's crazy yeah wow now it's gone they painted it all nice too it was like it was kind of like I, a like a I, neat, I, neat, I, neat I building or something right, like that. right i don't think it was the, the, the paint job is nice but. well it was better than it was oh well, yeah remember yeah. what it looked like before oh, dude, it was shit. night and day yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It, it was the talk at town when people drove down what the hell is that right yeah that'd make a great uh, halloween uh uh venue right <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah right it looked like the haunted house right yeah, no, but it really... was yeah there's a lot of history that went on with this building that sucks man Fuck. and if my dad was alive today he he knows all the history that went on there oh. he's lost many a paychecks in that wow. place Jeez, crazy yeah it's where workers would go and gamble and drink after after work and get all the good stuff yeah. hey <laughs> the hookers and all yeah. kinds of crazy stuff oh, I, I, that I see, sucks I see the water yeah, that, I think it's going to collapse. Oh, yeah. That's oh, going to go soon. I'm uh, waiting for it because it, <laughs> they're filling that up. whole side of the wall, That's bro. a fucking thing. Like, it's, it's, Dude, a, it's a swimming pool. It's going to just go, bro. Yeah. Olette and Elliot, right on the corner. Windsor, Ontario. A lot of activity here. <laughs> I know everybody downtown. Yeah, including me. <laughs> including you guys. So there was a fella here that had no shoes on. Really? Uh, yeah, why? Well, I, I just got hooked him up with a pair of shoes. Oh, oh he's at the truck. Well, how are you today? Here. Nice glasses. You look uh, intelligent tonight. <laughs> it's my daughter. <laughs> that's, that's Gloria. <laughs> hey, that's Gloria. Let's see Gloria. This is my... Uh, 
My 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 granddaughter. Oh, so oh, look at that puppy. Since the kids don't want to have kids. Yeah, Okay, so it's out. <laughs> it's missing uh, three oh, quarters yeah, of the yeah, building. No more. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more water. I'm going to blow this up a bit. Three quarters of that building's gone. The pipe's still full. Smoke's gone. Are they going to leave it up? <laughs> well, yeah, they'll leave it up tonight. Oh, but this will be the the fastest demolition. Yeah. Well, as soon as the uh, fire inspector gets in there and in the, well, one hundred percent arson, right? Yeah. Well, of course, it's probably like a you know a meth head or whatever that one. In there. Yeah. Oh, for sure. People were living in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of. I I know. Uh, people have been living there for like a while. Yeah. And they put the fence up to keep them out, but it didn't stop anything, right? Of course not. A fence like this, <laughs> right? It don't, don't work. Marie Deering's in the house. Ray Gerard. Apparently, some guy ran out the back side as it was like going up in flames. I don't know. News to me. So, things to do. So, we're going to go. Look at Uncle Ross's shoes. Come here, Bree. Come meet Ron. This is my daughter, Ron. It's got Uncle Ross's shoes on. The guy was barefoot. They kicked him out of there, man. He had no shoes on. That's crazy. So we hooked him up. <laughs> He's got nicer shoes than me. Are oh, you ready? Thank you. I'm going with them. You're going with them? Yeah, I'm good. I got, I got Ron to protect me. So this is all coming to an end here. <laughs> Hopefully they they get back in here tonight. They get the all uh, the all clear. How's the food in there? Pretty good, eh? Better than where I was. I was living over at the Victoria Manor. Boy, it was bad there. Is it better than the old county jail? No. no? They had good food in that place. They did, yeah. Done, the guy that yeah, Ron, yeah. He screwed up this place, we got the boat, and now he's over there running Victoria Manor. <laughs> he's back in Windsor? Yeah, he's running that place. Oh, yeah? And I think he's fucking up your book. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's cooking the books over there. Yeah, well, that, that shit happens when there's money on the table, eh? There's a lot of corruption. And you get guys that are involved with the charities and this and that, and it's sickening. That's what it is. Where me, I was running a charity without uh, any numbers whatsoever, but my own, right? So there was no messing around. I sold weed and I gave it. I gave the money to the mission. Well, not the cash to the mission, but I'd go out and buy uh, food, lots of food, and I just donated that way, right? But there was a lot of people with their hands out that wanted cash, and I, I, I you know what? I wasn't born yesterday. I was born in 1970, not today. So I'm gonna get going. Okay. Hey, brother. Oh. Hey, Ron. Nice meeting you. Yeah. I know where to find you. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm Leo. Leo. I'm Ron. Ron. Yeah. Take care. Of What's me. your last name, Ron? Staxel. Staxel. S A X E L. 
Okay. Sa oh, Saxon. Yeah, no key. Okay. Like, uh, like uh, the Vikings. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Let's see. Okay. My word is my bond. I'll come. I'll take you for a coffee. Sit down with you. It's, it's nice. You know what? Good, good to get into people's people's thoughts, right? They could help. Did you drink that all? Did you drink it all? Oh, it's good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice though. Yeah. Okay, bye, kids. Well, I thought I'd give that to you because I know. Yeah, I'm leaving right now. Bye, Bree. Sugar house. Okay, so they're letting everybody back in. I'm glad uh, that they get to go back in and get shelter, get food. Buddy, uh, worked out good for him. He got a pair of shoes. And a fr fresh pair of socks. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get into uh, doing a video on uh, the issue at hand and talk to these people and find out what what the issue is, really. Because there's no way you could tackle the issue without knowing what the issue is. With that being said, guys, good night.